Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Demos Diecast. Shout out to all of our returning viewers and subscribers. Welcome to all the new viewers, first time viewers, new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody had a good weekend and a great week last week. I had a pretty busy week in my personal life myself, so I was not able to get any content shot or uploaded. So sorry to leave you guys hanging like that, but uh, we are back with another RLC opening. Also, last night's hunt and car meet video is live now, so go check that out. Uh, that'll be episode two of that. I think we'll make that a regular thing if that's something you guys enjoy, seeing some real cars mixed in with the uh, 164s and other scale cars. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying those. Today we have the Barracuda uh, 1968 Custom Plymouth Barracuda RLC. We are going to be cracking this guy open. I only received or I only purchased one of these. Uh, wasn't one that I really felt like I needed to keep carded, but I did want one to open and put in the case. And in hand, I'm kind of regretting that now. Um, I do think uh, this one is still available. Um, this one is not numbered, but uh, yeah. So I think this one is actually still available on the RLC site. I do have a second membership, so I could go purchase another if I wanted. But for right now, depending on how I feel once we open this, um, I'll probably just stick with the one. So um, let's get into it. We also got a few cars back here on display. We'll explain those a little bit more once we get into opening this and taking a look at its details. So let's get this out of the case first. And so... Super, super sick. Um, let's take a look at the back. Again, this one is not numbered. We did see one numbered car for 2024 so far, which was the Mercedes uh, G-Wagon 4x4. Uh, so far, we have not seen any other of the cars numbered. Uh, but they do have a nice little, uh, some nice verbiage here about the car. So let's see. The Plymouth Barracuda was one of the original pony cars which were smaller, sportier cars that people often customize for enhanced performance. This Hot Wheels version of the 68 Barracuda is customized to the max with a 1,000 horsepower Elephant Hemi engine and lowered rear four-link suspension with coilovers. Additional body modifications include fender flares, custom hood inserts, rear spoiler, rocker extension, and front splitter, to name a few. A custom exhaust and front bumper mounted driving lights finish off the body spectra flame teal paint with white belt line straps and authentic badging create a captivating look accompanied by five spoke real rider mag wheels the inaugural casting of this 68 barracuda for the red line club is one strong pony giddy up so that's pretty sick i'm gonna start reading those stories because um they actually do tell a little bit about the design of the car. And uh, for example, this one is going to have the elephant engine in it. So let's get this out of the package, take a closer look. And there it is. Super nice. Wow, that Spectra Flame Teal is crazy. Um, I'm sure they've done another RLC in Spectra Flame Teal like that. I think personally, this is my only one. Um, I think the closest that I have to this color would be the Bronco Sport RLC. Take a quick look. Taking a quick glance at my loose case, the closest that I think I have to something like this would be the Bronco. Uh, but this thing is really, really, really nice. Super, super sick. Um, again, right away, that teal Spectra Flame just pops. Super nice. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Zoom in. So... Right off the bat, really, really nice. Got that beautiful teal Spectra Flame paint, uh, the white side decal like they were mentioning in the verbiage. Um, five-spoke mag Krager-style wheel with the polished lip. Super sick. 
do get the treaded tire on this one. Um, same with the rear, you do have a staggered, so you're going to have a 10 millimeter front, 12 millimeter rear. You have your side, side exit exhaust here. That's super sick. Uh, take a look at the inside. I don't see too many crazy details in there. Um, does look like they have a cage in here. So you do have a cage running up. So that's even, that's pretty dope. Um, you've got your uh, Barracuda verbiage there with a badge. Take a look at the front. Really, really nice tampoed up headlights. You got those uh, front splitter uh, fog lights down there in the front. And then some uh, like parking lights or maybe turn signal indicators there. Uh, nice front grill. Ooh, you do have that Plymouth verbiage there. That's really sick. That's pretty dope. Um, you can kind of see how it's like, it's like maybe almost like a ghost paint. So that's super sick. Uh, let's take a look at the hood. Do you get your badge there. Hood vents there. Uh, windshield wipers. So that's sick. You got your cowl here. Uh, you do have that nice front splitter as well in the black there. That's sick. Gives it that low look. Um, if you look at it from the front, you don't have much of the tire showing underneath. So it's going to make it look or appear very low. So super dope on that. Um, pretty much the same thing on the other side. You do get that nice chrome front bumper as well. Um, this one, this casting does have mirrors. They're going to be very, very small, but they are there. So that's sick. Uh, nice painted door handle with an indication of a keyhole there. Another side exit exhaust on this side. Uh, this looks like a gas filler, I would believe, right here with those nice over fenders. So that's pretty sick. Uh, front over fender there as well. Take a look at the rear. You can see that cage again. Uh, take a look at that tail light. You got your nice one piece tail all the way across. Barracuda there on the tail light. So that's super dope. The VB Gills license plate there. So that's pretty sick. And you do have that nice like lip spoiler there on the trunk. Super dope on that. Super, super nice. Let's take a look at the bottom because this one has some really cool exhaust detail. So you've got your transmission here uh, coming out drive shaft all the way down into your rear differential. Got some suspension components there. And then you have your exhaust coming off of your headers. And that would come all the way down into the muffler, through your muffler, out of the muffler, into your side exit exhaust. So that's pretty legit. Um, super, super dope on that. Let's take a quick look at that engine. So there's that nice Helifant engine that they were mentioning, supercharged Hemi engine. So super, super sick. You've got a red air filter here. You got your intake arm into the supercharger. This is the supercharger and then your cylinder heads. So super, super dope. Really, really nice detail. Um, you've got a radiator here in the front too. So super, super sick. Um, all in all, I'm really happy with this casting. Uh, for a first time casting, I think they did a great job. Uh, kind of reminds me of the custom Nova. Um, this is really dope. I'm not a muscle car guy. I'm not a Plymouth or Dodge or Barracuda guy, but yeah, this is actually a really dope casting. So super glad to have it. Um, yeah, no complaints, no issues really with it. Uh, it does have some fingerprints on it, so that'll, you know, clean up real nice. But other than that, uh, looks like the quality control was really good on this one. So shout out to Mattel. Um, so we'll put that down. Um, the reason that I brought out these other cars in the background here is because these are also um, older muscle car RLCs that they used modern engines in. Um, so the, I think this is a 70 Charger. Let's just double check that real quick, but I'm almost positive this is a 70. Um, uh, 69, excuse me, 69 Charger. So 69 Charger with the Helifant engine in it as well. So that's pretty sick. You do have your supercharger there, cylinder heads on either side, your intake arm just like we had on the Barracuda. No filter on this one, uh, but you do get a radiator there. So super sick. So really dope that they use a modern engine in like an old school muscle car. Um, obviously, I brought out the Superbird because that's the only other Plymouth that I have. So I have two Plymouths there, Dodge. And then this one is going to be the 69 Camaro casting. Um, on this one, they used the uh, supercharged LT4 engine in this car. So again, you have a modern engine in a classic muscle car um, body or chassis. So super dope there. Lots of really good detail, nice detail on the engine on this one as well. So 
Um, all in all, really happy to add the custom Barracuda to the muscle car collection. Again, not a domestic or a muscle car guy. It's not something that I go out and get every single one, but I'm happy to add that one to the collection. And um, yeah, so all in all, super, super clean, really, really nice. Uh, if they are still available and you were kind of on the fence, again, hopefully this video provides some insight, um, gives you an idea of which way you might want to go as far as purchasing it or leaving that one for the next guy. So uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it. Um, not too long today, just a little show and tell and an opening. So uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, comment, uh, which one of these is your favorite down below and what you thought about the Barracuda casting, either A, if you got it in person, or B, if you watched it, just witnessed it here on the video. And um, yeah, don't forget to uh, share and subscribe to the channel. So we appreciate everyone for tuning in. We will see you shortly with another one. Um, we do have some stuff lined up for most of the week, so I'm going to do my best to get a video out each night and uh, keep the content rolling. So thank you guys again for tuning in. We appreciate it, and we will see you guys on the next one. One love.